interesting matchup at the shooting guard position. Number three makes a strong case for being one of the better shooters in the entire country. Starting across from him tonight is a bona fide three ball shooter who does not hesitate to put it up. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. The Jayhawks are facing a very formidable opponent. What are the keys to their success? Hey, tonight the keys to their success are these, Brad. First of all, reward your big man. Give him the ball down low. Get him into the game. Let him be part of the offense. Second of all, make sure you take care of the rock. Turnovers kill momentum. And finally, you got to pound the board. Boards lead to wins, baby. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. The high screen from right of the circle scorches the net. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Trying to feed the low block. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. The Jayhawks have a mismatch in the post. You're right. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot with a quarterback pass. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. That's an eight nothing run. Try to go inside. And they do, they got on the low block. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. We're about ready to hit the floor. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Steele, Postel is fired up and ready to go. Well, he's had some success and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Down inside, Bryant receives the ball. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. On the outside, launches away. That's 14 unanswered. They go into the low block, takes the pass in the paint. Bryant, pump fakes, goes up for two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Now trying to feed the low block with the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, a great spin move to the basket. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. There was no doubt about that one. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. That's why some coaches don't like it when players go for the steal. They end up with fouls or in foul trouble. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. On the dribble, gives it up. The ball goes out of play. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. He makes a nice shot fake. There's the pick. Turnover City now will always really negate any offense. Trying to stay.
stay with him defensively, and he's going to pick up the foul. Oh, what a terrific job. Exploded in the basket. Poor job defensively letting him get the ball that deep. Working it around the perimeter. Isolated on the outside. They work it around. Great block shot. He went up and knocked it away. There it is again. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. From the top of the circle, he drains the bucket. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. For the bucket. Connecticut are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great... Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nestler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And, oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Look at that spacing. Moving it around the perimeter. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball in the deck. Where's he going? Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. The skip pass is picked off. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. They work the perimeter. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebounding ability. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Here's a spin down in the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and have a spin move to the goal. Gave it up. Fires away. Off the rim and no good. He gets the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big play. Oh, he's having fun with the opponent's dick. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. The Huskies will step to the line for the first time. Makes the shot. Look out. That sends a message to the screener. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind, or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Now they work it around the perimeter. For three, it's good. Joseph receives the pass. The ball goes out of bounds. High 
High post flasher is open. Postel handles the pass. He shoots from outside. The Huskies have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Brian handles the feed. There's a double team waiting there. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Looking for a good shot. Has a nice look at the basket. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Buchanan is receiving an enthusiastic response from the crowd. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. He shoots from left of the circle, drains the shot. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely, getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Connecticut are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Pump fakes. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad, the player matchup has been our focus tonight, and he's been effective because his teammates are finding him in the right spot, and he's knocking down all his shots, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. For the bucket, sinks it. On the outside, got the shot if he wants it. He shoots from the top of the key. Dickie Sibley on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. There's a bad pass right to the defender. The Jayhawks seemingly have a solid number of seniors in their lineup here. Hey, Brad, you know I love seniors. By the time they're in their fourth year of eligibility, they're a solid and reliable basketball player. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. The Huskies have a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Nice high post screen. He shoots from the top of the circle. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Both teams looking to get things going here. For two. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They'll work it around the arc in the paint. Tries for two. He puts it in with contact and all. He up fakes. Step out on that screener. He attempts a jump hook. And he missed. Takes the pass in the paint. Looking for contact. Gets it to go. He 
shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He hits the shot. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Goes up for two. And he scores it off the glass. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. For the bucket, perfectly executed. A whistle and a foul. Coach not happy on the side. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's certainly foul right there, but look at his face. Facial expression tells it all. Here's a flash from the post up high. Looking for a good shot. Three. Knocks it down. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. We'll get another look at it. <laughs> Tries to get the D to bite. He goes with a baby hook. I've done a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Here they go into the break. They're working around the perimeter. In the paint for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Working it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Looking to move it around the perimeter. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the perimeter. Tries one from three-point land. Kansas are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Gave it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Gets up to make the block. Gets it to fall. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Up and inside. Fakes the shot. They work the perimeter. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. Isn't it great, Brad? Looking for a good shot. 
for two. Perfectly executed. Now they work it around the perimeter. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. That's a foul. right on his hip and I think he's holding his ground Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Oh and you can tell by the look on his face he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow look at the facial expression he says me. Brad this place will be deafening if they can score here. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Intercepted. Obvious foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. It's the first shot. It's two at the charity strike. Ouch! Green set hard on the defender. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. On the outside, they're right on top of that pass. Kicks off the lazy pass. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Goes up for two. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Stolen away. Shot clock is dead. Jumps into the defender. Timeout's called. Dick, you think the coach is trying to slow up this run a little? Absolutely. He looks calm over there on the sideline, but I bet he's steaming inside. Feeling they've changed things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. 
it's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. And you get balled like, oh, yeah. At the end of the first half, the Huskies trail by five. It's been a tight one thus far, Mr. Vitale. What play do you think set the tone here tonight? Play the half. Buzzer beater, baby. You gotta love it. Let's get back to the action and see what happens. Kansas is showing tremendous accuracy from the floor in the first half, partner. They're so well coached, man. Working the ball around for the high percentage shot. That's a lot of maturity, man. They really are a mature basketball team. Dick, it's all about teamwork, and as we start the second half and take a look at our player matchup update, it's pretty even. Well, they're really doing a great job. Both guys getting good shots, really making them count, and really their teammates are getting the ball at the right time. He lets it go. You bet you. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. Stolen away. Look at speed. I'll tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. For the bucket. Up. Easy one. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Dumps it in. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. On the outside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Kansas are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. From right in the circle, off the rim and no good. Basket falls despite the contact. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. In the paint. He goes with a baby hook. Can't get the shot to go. And he'll kick it back outside. He wants a three. Tickles a twine. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Defense! 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 
ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Leans in, and he scores despite the hack. Jumps in. Great play to take that to the basket. Stolen ball. Good athletic move. Very athletic. He's got great athleticism. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He fires from long range. The Huskies have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. He intercepts it, pushes it up with a long bomb. Way off target. away the pass up fake he's got a high post flasher picks off the pass here we go on the break great elevator man man that's the elevator guy what a high riser picked out of the air they'll work it around the arc Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. When you get help, you can take that pass away. Picked off. Working it around the perimeter. He draws a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus. It's BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. For two, perfectly executed. The Jayhawks lead by nine. Here's a double team. Shoots from outside. Connecticut have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Takes the pass in the paint. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Pass break possibility coming. Tries for two. It sticks. And he'll kick it back outside. Nicky's working on that low block. He gets the rejection. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Goes up for two. He hits it. Let the replay show us the real deal. They work it back to the outside. Hard foul. Nick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, Ethan? Hey, Brian, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Shooter spotting up on the three. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity. 
A lot of emotion. The ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. There's the trap. Steals the ball. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from them. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Picks off the lazy pass. Entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. The Jayhawks are up by 10. On the dribble, gives it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. There's the fake. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. They work it around the perimeter. Puts it up, looking for contact. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. He shoots from right of the circle. He gets it to go. Tradition is big around these parts. A lot of passion in history. Years and years of success have built this program up to where it is today. I love it. I really do, Brad. The pioneers and past grades who have paved the way for the younger generations. Steals a pass. He shoots from the top of the key. He nails the shot. Count that as a personal foul. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad and Dick, not too many differences between these two players. Seems as though they're almost canceling each other out on the floor. This now could come down to which team is stronger. Concentrate, gotta concentrate on that free throw line. He hits the second. For the bucket, he puts it in with contact and all. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Here's a flash from the high post. Gave it up. He fouled him. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, altering shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. Both free throws go. The Huskies trail by nine. In the paint. 
That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. No good. Strong rebound. Fill the lanes. That's the only way they'll be able to get some fast break opportunities. High post screen, gonna use it. There was no doubt about that one. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Fakes a jumper with a little baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. The Huskies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding them the ball. It's simple. Now they work it around the perimeter. That's a high post screen close to the lane. That's absolutely sensational, even the second time. On the outside. And they get the turnover. On the run. Trying to draw the foul. Kansas are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. <laughs> Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He makes the block. Got to have that head up. Got to see everybody on the floor. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm telling you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. And a momentary look from three-point land. They move. Block shot. And back they come the other way. On the inside, trying to draw some contact. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Up and inside. Wide open for the shot. He shoots from the top of the circle. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. He blocks the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for the foul. Great play to take that to the basket. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the long pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Look at him now, just enjoying the moment. Hey, I think he's missed the versatile. Play some hoop, do a little dance. He'll attempt two shots. First one, good. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. They'll work it around the arc. Gave it up. Looking for contact. He drains it. I want to see that again. Go, go. 
Working it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Double team now, bad angle. Tries for two. Gave it up. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. With a jump hook. That's a great shot. I, I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. He shoots from left of the circle. that basketball help one another communicate on the dribble gives it up jumped in front to take it away for two he makes the shot fans are pleased now given the fact that this game is really out of reach that's what the fans came to see their team win five points ten points twenty points it doesn't matter tries for two Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Picks off the lazy pass. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He tries the three. The Huskies have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. Yeah, he's on fire. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. For two. I tell you, he didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Intercepted. Step back out onto the court. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. the pass in the paint. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. 
He's open if he wants the shot. With the big shot, he misses from the outside. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper on the outside. Gave it up. Shots there if he wants it. Nick, you look back, it was a great matchup. We expected it to be, and it turned out to be everything we'd hoped for. Well, I think it played out fairly well, but it's all within the realm of the team. The one thing I like about the Stars, they're playing as a unit with their teammates. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Kansas wins with a gaping margin of victory tonight. The outcome was never in doubt. It was always a question of how dominant they would be. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.